Yesterday was on the 7th of February 2024. The market woman who accused Liz and Jorin of stealing good jewelry, make a U turn, says she is innocent. But before I show you the video, let me check in something. Let me tell you the genesis of the story. It happens that like three days ago, we all got the news from Instagram posts of some of our celebrity or supposed celebrity that one of the celebrity that happens to fall into the category of the new Banu was apprehended at the Lagos market for stealing gold jewelry without doing any investigation, proper investigation, or even finding out what happened. A lot of people join, jump into conclusion and assume that this so-called female celebrity was apprehended and caught stealing gold. Different narration was coming out that day. Some said it was a misappropriation of money. Some said uh, she mistakenly, uh, you know, paid uh, money with a fake alert. There are different narratives that were coming out that very day. But as at yesterday, the whole coast was clear. So what actually happened? We don't know for sure what actually happened. But what I'm here to do is to tell you what exactly has been going on on the social media. But before we go on, let me show you the video of what happened to her in the market. It was just a short clip. I will come back to the narrative of what happened after that, after your truth, this short video clip. So welcome back guys. That was what happened. We didn't know what happened. We just saw Liz and John in the shop of some of the market women in Lagos claiming that nothing because from what I heard from the video, I didn't even hear anything tangible that points accusation finger towards the lady. We just saw the lady so distressed in the video. She was looking weary and very distressed. I'm sure the fact that the crowd was even called, you know, to come and witness what happened was an embarrassing thing again. But why am I doing this video today? It was uh, based on the other Instagram post that I saw from one of the other Nigerian Nollywood Yoruba celebrity, or so-called celebrity like I call them, who came out to begin to rejoice on things that was not even confirmed, a dumbfounded news. We, at the end of the day, we eventually find out that the people who came out to even claim that the girl the, or the lady who is Liz and was a thief were just doing that to just stain her image or to destroy her reputation because of the rage they've been having with each other. So, watch this video and, and then I'll come back to analyze what happened.
So welcome back guys. That's the video of uh Yabo uh mocking dancing to the downfall of one of our colleagues. It is no news again on the social media platform that these two were once friends and stopped being friends. I don't know whether they were once true friends, but I just know that they were colleagues and they are still colleagues up to now. But I doubt if uh, both of them even pay attention to uh, their career anymore. They are just chasing clouds. You know, most of these things that they do, I don't know why women have this issue among them. I don't even know why they had to probably. Uh, be at each other's throat. I don't know what competition that is so healthy that they that forced envy between the two of them. I just know that the stupidity of people is at the highest order because if not, that is what often happens to black men, and that is why we are now growing in this part of the world called Africa. Most of the things that we celebrate oftentimes are things that affect the other person beside us. A celebrity is being accused of something. Whether she was guilty of it or not, nobody knows. And someone is already out there celebrating a downfall. As if maybe that just gives them satisfaction. But when you so that's why I don't tell most people that be careful of who you follow. Yahoo Joe might be a talent, this journey might be a talent, but if they both have sex, they will come together often time to do collaboration share idea because they are better together than apart and that is the problem we have in this world many people just make unnecessary enemies enemies that will not benefit them anything and in the in this life forget about the dramatic expression that you have people used to give that when you pack uh uh, uh brooms together they 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 are very it's always very it's always very difficult for you to break them into two, but you can easily break one as compared to breaking a bunch of two, you know. So the truth is just that that idiomatic expression actually express the development or the strength to, uh, behind the development of human beings. There is no way we will not be a formidable force when we come together as one. But unfortunately, many people just find for. Maybe it's just cloud chasing because uh, it's the only set of people I pity are the people who are running to their Instagram page or whatever to go and support all this kind of shenanigans, all this kind of charity. Because at the end of the day, those people are making money. Celebrity is the way they make money, whether bad news or good news or any news. The moment they are at the social media space and people are clicking on their page, commenting, typing, liking whatever rubbish they are putting out there. Is making them money. Why you have only your data to make them money and living in abject poverty? So, watch the video of this woman who came back to analyze that what they claim from the beginning, or the insinuation people put out, the media post and whatever, because people were now pointing the conversation finger at Yahoo for being the one that propagated that false news about his enjoying being a thief at Lagos Market. Watch the video of the woman. Who happens to be the shop owner that lives at Gary Visited? If you are not a Yoruba, according to the woman, the statement was specifically to clarify the, the I don't know what happened, whether she actually spoke, whether it was a, uh, because according to the woman, they said she wanted to send money to the account and she sent it to the wrong account. Then she called her husband to forward the actual money to the account, which the husband did. So it wasn't as a result, it wasn't as a uh, case of uh, stolen gold, but they don't even sell gold in that shop, according to what the woman women were claiming. 
that means I'm getting up on speed their customer. So I just want you guys to probably look through this and ask yourself this question. Is it worth following all these people? What benefit or added advantage are they giving to you? If not, then why follow them in the first, in the first place? You need to be very careful of who you follow and who you choose as your role model. What are they trying to point to you? What lesson are they trying to teach to your kids? And if at this stage where the country is in turmoil, a lot of people are suffering, no food to eat, people cannot even afford one square meal anymore, people have lost their job tremendously, and people are actually suffering. If you don't have people who are telling you to weigh out the way out of this shenanigans or trying to help you alight the problems that are mounted together that causes all this wala, then you are here for it. They have celebrities in America too. People worship them, but you will discover that the people who worship all these people actually don't make any means. They don't make good money. I've seen a lot of people, you know, go to stadium to watch football. Yeah. So them anything that has to do with entertainment, most time drains you. And I'll explain to you, if you are the type who pay more attention to watching unnecessary TikTok, there are two things you can gain from it. It's either it pleasures your body, pleasures it pleasure your mind, or it had knowledge to you. So if you are not having knowledge from whatever thing you are watching, that means you are burning off. You are burning your data on emptiness. Because no entertainment is still with you, but knowledge can stay with you forever. So when you pick up your hard-earned money and go to stadium, if you are living in America or Europe, to watch basketball, uh, baseball, American football, baseball, and all other likes, hockey, whatever, golf, and whatever thing. You pay your money. If rich people are doing that, they can say, okay, that is the way they ease up your attention from whatever. And besides, they are taking money from the lot they made. From the lot they have made. Some people are not even making enough to take care of their needs. And out of the little they are making, they will say, to go and watch people play football. You watch movies, and so instead of using it to build themselves, many people plunge themselves into poverty. Why many? Why, why some people are busy using their money for frivolous things? Some were smart enough to start investing their money. Every naira and copper matters. If you are smart, you will sit with an economist or an accountant, which will dissipate to you the wrongs in your spending. So when you wake up every morning to go to the Apple Joe's uh, page to go and watch rubbish, or to go to Liz and John's page to see how she's going to retaliate back to the Apple Joe, you know, how does that have value to you? Why should two people, two adults be fighting? And it is your concern. Is that what we are supposed to be doing in Nigeria today? Really? Then everybody will come and point the finger at the president that is the one destroying the country. I'm telling you, the president is not different from you. Why the president is traveling from whatever country to another country? He just came back from France. Doing what in France? How? When was the last time? Or when did you ever see Macron came to Nigeria for anything? Why? What? Now, when Nigerian president traveled to America all the time, when was the last time you saw an American president come to Nigeria for what? Nigeria is like the poverty of your streets. You know the way the if you grow up in the street of Nigeria, you have rich friends whose house is very beautiful, and you are always eager to go to their house, but they never come to your house. In fact, whenever they come to your house, your house is fully open. You even want to entertain them, want to impress them. You open your door. That's Nigeria, poverty. But in rich man's house. Whenever you want to go there, despite the fact that you are the friend to the children there, you will knock at the door, the security will open to you and tell you that they are not available, they are busy. They will look how wretched you are, how wretched you are, how poor you are, they won't even allow you into their company. And if you sneak in, the dogs who are roaming about, very well fed dogs, they will bite you up. So we are always the one going to other people's home to look for what is not lost, where we are, when we are supposed to be building our own home. The same way you all are supposed to be building your life, but you should so much pay attention to frivolous things online. Things that will have values to you, have knowledge to you, none of you are following. 
anyway this video is just probably chipping my perspective about how this fight is none of your business how people are making money up they are throwing you stupidity and you are going there to buy their stupidity with your data. I mean you don't know that whatever thing you pick up your phone to watch you're burning off your money your data is your money so if you are not adding value to your life, adding value, adding advantage to you, knowledge. So what are you gonna? What are you gathering? What knowledge are you putting together that will be that will be of use to you in the future in your daily endeavors, in the endeavors of life that you might encounter in the future? Right. It's left to you. My name is Renzo and you are watching Future Edition like, Media Online TV. So I come your way next time. Stay cool. Be fine, be good, stay there. Please subscribe to my channel if you are this is the first time I'm watching my channel. Please subscribe. Uh, and you can if you are watching me on TikTok, please let me go to my YouTube channel uh, at Future ABC Media. Uh, that's the name of the channel on every social media platform, on Twitter, on Instagram, on uh, TikTok, on Facebook, and on YouTube. Same on Rumble, but many people don't use Rumble and use Skype for that. So Please, until I come your way next time, keep subscribing, keep liking, and keep waiting for words that will enrich your life, not just the one that will enrich your life. Take care.